Today's video is packed with tons of Dollar Tree hacks that I know you're going to love. They're easy, they're quick, and I know that you can do them, so let's get to it. Heading over to Dollar Tree is always fun, but it's even more fun when it is to purchase fall decor and fall crafting items. I love crafting for fall. It's one of my favorites, and these little tiny pumpkins are so much fun. Fun. They come about six or five in a pack, different colors, different texture, different fabric styles. And I am going to make today six DIYs using these. We are going to start with this jar. I thrifted this several months ago, probably over a year now. And I used it before for a centerpiece. And today I'm just going to dust it off. No major cleaning needed. And then we're going to fill it up with some of these pumpkins how fun is this even if this is all you can do is take a vase and fill them with these pumpkins how fun how festive i love these little pumpkins we're going to close it up and then we're just going to add just a couple other things Dollar Tree stepped it up this year with their ribbons. They have such a selection. This Buffalo Check one is one of my favorites. And I'm going to wrap about 18 inches, maybe 20 inches off of this one. I'm going to wrap it around the neck of the bottle. And then we're just going to tie it in a simple knot. I'm not going to tie it in a bow or anything, although you can do whatever you'd like. I'm going to cut the ends of the ribbon in a dovetail style. And then because the ribbon has a wire, it's easy to give it a shape. So I'm just going to curl it just a bit, more like a wave. That way it stays nice and neat. Now I'm going to take a, this little garland berry or little buds that you can get at the Dollar Tree. They have different styles. This one has more of a fall colors. I am going to cut a piece long enough to be able to wrap around the neck tie it in the center and then we're going to curl it with a pencil so that it has some texture and some nice detail and we are done i told you these were quick and easy and this one is stunning i love these little tiny pumpkins inside this jar you can also use a regular glass vase the possibilities are endless If you enjoy DIY home decor, this is the channel for you. I post every single week, so make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the content. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take these little mini jars that I got at the Target Dollar Spot for $5 for four of them. I thought they were a really good deal and I love that they have that natural wood lids to them. I'm going to do a similar style DIY as the previous one. We're going to fill these little jars with the pumpkins, but we are going to keep each jar with the same color pumpkin. Although you can do whatever you'd like, I just thought it'd be really cute to have similar colors or same color in each jar. To style these, I am going to place them on this cutting board that I got at Home Goods, and you can place them however you want. I just had this on hand, and I thought it'd be really cute to just line them up and then add this little flower from the Dollar Tree, and then maybe a couple extra little pumpkins here and there. And look how cute! Easy, simple, but so so festive. I just love the way this turned out. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you take a second and give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps my channel grow and it helps this video reach more people. Dollar Tree carries these tin wood frames that you can use for very quick and easy DIYs. And that's what we're going to do with this one. I'm going to remove the packaging from it and then I'm just going to start painting the frame. Now this is not like a picture frame where you can remove the back from it. It's actually quite in there. So I don't want to break it apart, but I am just going to paint the all the edge using Waverly chalk paint in the white. And I'm not going to tape it. I'm just going to use this cardboard to make sure that I don't get it on the tin portion.
While that dries, I'm going to take these magnets that you can get at Dollar Tree. They come 14 in a pack. Such a good deal for $1.25. Great for crafting. I'm going to take three of them and it's going to be very simple. I'm going to pick three little pumpkins that I prefer and I am going to hot glue them to the back of them. Dollar Tree now carries these window clings. They are just so easy to work with. And today I'm gonna to work with this one. It has several styles within one. And I'm gonna use this vertical one. I'm just gonna place it to the left side of the sign. They do stick on glass, of course, but they also stick on the tin. So I'm really happy that worked out. Once I had it in place, it's time to just then place some florals to the top of it. I'm just going to cut up a couple of branches from these from Dollar Tree. I love making little swags for frames or mirrors or signs because it just makes it just more festive and it's such an easy thing to do. You just grab a couple of picks, tie them together with some jute string or some ribbon, hot glue it in place, and then hot glue it to the top of the frame that easy you can add anything else you want but i'm going to keep it very simple and just hot glue it and that's it we're going to place the little tiny pumpkins right on the tin this could be for notes this can be for pictures or just to leave it just like this and i think it turned out so stinking cute i love it these little pumpkins are so versatile and so festive one of my favorites from today Dollar Tree often has all these fabric pumpkins available and I found this velvet one. It has a very deep tone blue. I'm going to remove the tag as well as the stem from it. Once I remove the stem, the fabric kind of came apart a little bit. That's okay. I just tucked it right back in the hole and it worked out well. I'm going to take this pick of a pumpkin gorgeous pumpkin. I love the texture and love the color. I'm going to remove the pick and I'm going to remove the stem from it and then we're going to hot glue it on top of the blue pumpkin. We're going to create a pumpkin topiary. I'm sure you've seen so many of them but I hope this one gives you just one more way that you can do them. I'm going to take this smaller pumpkin that has a clip, remove the clip from it and we're going to also remove the stem and we're going to hot glue that one right on top of the other one. So so simple and then of course we can't forget about our baby little pumpkins so I'm going to take a green one. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit just to make sure it's a little bit more flat so it kind of sits on top of the other pumpkin really well and then hot glue it in place. So I'm going to add a little bit more to this to make it a little bit more festive. I'm going to grab this leftover magnolia leaf that I had on a pick. I'm just going to hot glue it right there towards the bottom. Dollar Tree carries these leaves. They're so vibrant, so festive in little bundles. I'm going to grab one of them and hot glue it right on top of that leaf. And then I'm going to take these other little berries. There's a more of a neutral tone you can find at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to grab one of them, cut off the exits, pick, and then I'm going to bend it just ever so slightly and then press it right in between both pumpkins at the bottom. So easy. I'm going to take another one of those little like buds garland. I'm going to cut out a piece, wrap it around that second, kind of like the middle um, pumpkins and then twist it. And then of course, we're going to curl it again using a pencil. And we're just about done with this one. Another easy, beautiful, and the possibilities of design and colors are endless. You can do whatever you want and it will look gorgeous. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I am going to thread some jute string in this stitching needle that I love using when I am threading through beads because it makes life so much easier. These wooden beads I get on Amazon and I'm just going to start threading into a specific pattern. You can pick whatever pattern you want. The pattern I chose was three natural wood ones, one white one which is made out of like a paper, a darker wood toned one, then white, then three more, and then a small pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> I do get these on Amazon, as I mentioned, and they are in my Amazon store. So these wood weeds, if you're interested, check them out. My Amazon store is linked down below.
All right, so I'm going to keep doing this pattern. And when it came into the little pumpkin, I started to just go with the buffalo check ones. But you can pick whatever color you want. And I'm going to do the black and white and the yellow, or not yellow, orange and white ones as well. And we're going to do two of them. So we're going to repeat this pattern three more times. I recently did a video using these Dollar Tree fabric bundles that you can find very inexpensively, beautiful colors. And I had this one left over that I didn't get to use. So I am going to cut a piece off of it. It's about 10 inches long, but it's also folded in half. And then I'm going to cut it into one inch strips. Friends, I want to remind you that I love to connect with you on Facebook and Instagram. I have both of my pages linked down below in the description box. So make sure you go down, check them out and follow me there as well. Once I have all the strips separated, I'm going to start separating them into two equal bundles and I'm going to keep them as straight as possible. Once I have those bundles separated, I'm going to leave two of them uh, to the sides and that's to tie them because we're going to make little tassels with these. You can do whatever you want for tassels. You can use ribbon, jute string. I'm just going to use this fabric because it's more on the neutral side and I like the way it looks with the beads. But nonetheless, use whatever you have. So I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to tie it in the center with the, the remaining leftover jute string on each end and then once I have it tight and secure I'm going to cut off the excess jute string then I'm going to take one of the strips and then I'm just going to tie it about half an inch underneath that and then we're going to tie it cut off the excess and then we're going to cut off the bottom of the tassels so that all the tassels are on the same size And of course, we're going to do the same thing for the other end. I'm going to use the first tassel as a guide so that I can cut off the excess tassels on the other one. And look how stunning this garland looks. I love the way it turned out. These little pumpkins are perfect for this garland. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this little wooden sign from Dollar Tree. Although it's really cute as is, we're going to paint it white using Waverly, Chalk Paint, and the White. I'm going to do one and a half coats. That's basically one full coat and then another one as needed. I am then going to take one pumpkin from each style. Recently, I did this DIY using the fabrics that you used earlier, and I thought it was so stinking cute. I would love to recreate it and make a mini version of it using the little mini pumpkins. Why not? So I'm going to take one pumpkin from each style and just start hot gluing them, making sure that the colors kind of complement each other. And then that's it. Such an easy DIY. Tell me this is not the cutest thing. I love the original version I did a couple of weeks ago, but this one is so cute. It's tiny, so festive, and so colorful. I love it. Recently, I had the pleasure of going to my very first Dollar Tree Plus, and I found this wreath form. It is made out of hay, and it was three dollars so big so sturdy and it is so well made i loved it i wish i would have grabbed more but i didn't i just grabbed this one and although this diy is not as quick and is not as uh simple it's still really easy so i'm just gonna take some leftover magnolia leaves these are just some picks that i again had left over i'm just gonna start hot gluing them to the right side of the wreath we're gonna make the arrangement on the right side of this wreath form I'm going to start hot gluing the picks as my base. This is going to be the base of my floral arrangement. I'm going to try to mirror the top to the bottom so they look as close as possible, but not perfectly the same. 
these cottonwood stems I found at the Dollar Tree last year. They're from their, my stash that I had left over. I cut off some of the stem. I'm going to add some hot glue and then just start pressing it right down inside the wreath form. Again, this wreath form makes it so easy to make arrangements because you just press it in just like if it was a foam so easy these little wicker wood stems are stunning i love them they come in different tones and i'm going to use a couple of the darker ones or like the medium dark ones i'm going to cut off some of the stem off and then again add hot glue and just press it right in where i like to see them and then we're going to take some of these florals dollar tree has beautiful florals now for fall they're vibrant they're so colorful i'm going to take this leafy one and i'm just going to cut a few picks from it and i'm just going to add it to the arrangement this flower had a clip on the back of it but it's such a good size i removed the clip and i'm just going to hot glue it right in the center I'm going to take some of these skewer sticks and this is where the little tiny pumpkins are going to come into play. We're going to stick it right through the pumpkin. Then the hot glue is just going to attach it really well. I'm going to cut off some of these stick as needed and just press them right in. These little pumpkins are perfect to add as fillers to either a wreath form like this or even a centerpiece like a flower arrangement. If you add that stick right to the bottom with some hot glue, it'll be perfect to add. This is another one of those ribbons from Dollar Tree. Isn't it beautiful? I love this color. I'm going to make a very simple bow. It is also wired, so it's really easy to maneuver and work with. I'm going to tie it in the center with some jute string, and then I'm just going to fluff it up just a little bit because we are going to hot glue it to the inside of the wreath. And we're just about done. I did add a green ribbon on top to hang it, but this wreath form did not cost me much to make. It is stunning, it is huge, and I'm gonna sell it, and I cannot wait to put it in my booth. Friends, I know I ask you every single time, but I would love to know which one is your favorite. I can't pick. I love these little pumpkins. I love how versatile they are. And I love all the textures and colors that they bring to any DIY. These are all so inexpensive. Anyone can do them. You can do them. If you are visiting for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider joining our YouTube family. As always, I'm going to have a playlist as well as another video here with tons more of fall inspiration for you. Check them out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.